Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Morgan Intuitive giving you your monthly readings and possibly week weekly in the future. Not sure yet, but for now, this is going to be your May um, general reading. Three cards from the Oracle deck and three cards from the Tarot deck. So here we go, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. And I can't wait to see what you got. All right, impasse. impasse. This is your card, first card. And reflect and redirect your energy. You're not the only one that got this card, by the way. Um, to me, this is saying reflect and redirect your energy. Okay, there's a lot. I feel a lot of anxiety going on in your heart. A lot of doubts. But if you can please redirect that energy to something just a little bit lighter, I think the month of May will be a lot uh, palpable, more, um, more uh, easy to deal with because I'm feeling a lot of anxiety going through you. And, you know, everyone goes through that. Everybody, you know, every month, everything is different for everybody. So for right, for right now, I'm feeling that for you. And it's good to kind of be mindful of that feeling and take a deep breath and redirect, okay? Your second card, this is beautiful, protected by the angels. You're also not the only one that got this card as well. You are cherished by the angels. You are definitely protected. So whatever worry that is in your heart, you're definitely heard. Your prayers are being heard at this time. So know that you you have um you are protected and you and they got your back, okay? The uh, last oracle card is narrow pathway, tread carefully. Um, so a lot of heightened emotions that I'm hearing and seeing for the month of May. Um, yeah, there's a lot of sensitive, a lot of sensitivity around you at this time. And it's, it's easy to get carried away with emotions. But um, I would definitely, um, I'm hearing tread carefully with your emotion. Tread carefully for those that are around you because they, they probably don't know how they're dealing with their emotions you have control of your emotions but you're so passionate though sometimes that it's <laughs> it's hard to keep it all inside which is totally understandable but treading carefully with the way you talk the way you speak will save some hurt that can be executed in the wrong way and again you're passionate there's nothing wrong with being who you are it's just Sometimes we get caught up in these emotions and it executes in some way out of nowhere and you don't even know what happened and it's like, oh shoot, I hurt somebody's feelings. So that is something to be mindful of. First, a tarot card, Queen of Cups. Yep. Again, you have this um <laughs> you have this energy, Queen of Cups, it's all about emotions. Um uh, of course, trying to self-improve, calm, compassionate. You are trying to be intuitive too. You're, you are intuitive, um, Scorpio, and it's very easy to know if someone is hiding things behind your back or someone is up to no good. You do feel that. So it is, again, tr a narrow pathway to tread carefully through those um, hard emotions. King of Swords, there you are. You are going to be an expert in something. I feel like it has something to do with work. Um, you're a good advisor. Someone is going to come up to you with a problem and you have the answer. So this is something uh, in May that you're going to be most proud of. Um, someone is just like, oh, can I help? Can you please help me? And you're like, yeah, I know what to do. I have some um, experience and I'm happy to help you. The last card is the Tower card. Do not be afraid of this card. I personally love this card, but some people don't. Um, Tower, definitely there's a big change in May. Um, unexpected crisis, unexpected plans um, that you just thought you knew but you did not know so um don't be carried away with again the emotions it sounds like a pretty deep month for you but 
Um, again, you're protected by the angels. You just need to have faith in yourself. You just need to be positive and embrace all the emotions for the month. And I think it will lead you to the way that you're supposed to, the path that you're supposed to be on, okay? So uh, again, embrace the changes, embrace the month, and I will see you in June uh, for your next video. Bye for now and blessings.